guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Mary and I live in Indiana with my husband Nick and our two Boston Terriers aka our babies Albert who's right there and Edie um, I wanted to share this awesome bed that we bought from Etsy for our dogs yes they are very much spoiled they're just our babies and we love them so much we don't do the whole human kid thing we just do puppies and <laughs> we have two and that is plenty <laughs> right behind me is this awesome new bed that we got to replace their big clunky kennel that we never even use like they go in there occasionally but for the most part they're completely potty trained and when we leave the house for like work and stuff we just um put up some temporary gates to keep them like in the living room area so we really don't have to worry about them getting into things so we we just don't use the kennel anymore and so i thought we would get something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing such as this beautiful thing <laughs> i love that it's like a little bit scandinavian looking like the the wood color with the whitish like off-white cushion and cover and i thought i would show you how easy it was to put it together i will link this etsy shop below because they are just phenomenal it's an older gentleman who lives in turkey and he is just like he was so stinking sweet like his description says uh send me pictures of your dogs like it just makes my day to see dogs enjoying the things that I've made for them and so I sent him a ton of pictures and he was just so grateful I left him a like a raving review because his shop is truly amazing and um yeah he's just been so sweet the whole whole time so uh I just wanted to share with you how we're spoiling our Boston Terriers this week so it came in this awesome package and they had it all like wrapped up so it would be as tight as possible. They actually had the cushion in one of those vacuum seal container things, <laughs> which is really smart. Um, and as soon as I took it out, Edie laid right down on the bed and she absolutely loved it. <laughs> um, putting it together was pretty easy. He just emailed us directions on how to do it. You just match up the different ends and screw them uh, together and then attach the crossbars to hold the whole frame together. So, so easy. Putting the back part on was super easy and then also assembling the cover, so easy. Obviously, you don't have to do anything with the bed. Fluff it up a bit, that's it really. And then it was super easy. I did have Nick help me because the little screw thing that they give you was not the best. It was fine, it worked perfectly fine, but like it just made my fingers hurt and it made Nick's fingers hurt, so we just split it up. You're basically done, that was it, so. But like as soon as we got it out, they loved it. If you guys need something like this, it's amazing. And it's on sale right now, like he has a sale going, so. I don't know how long it'll be for, but I'll link it below so you can see all of his awesome dog beds. I'm completely in love with this bed. And they are too, which is makes me really happy. I'll put some uh, pictures in of other things that I've tried before because I did try a little like teepee design which was very cute but uh, not really that functional. I got it as soon as we knew that we were getting Edie and I thought it would be so cute. She enjoyed chewing on the edge with the little balls on it but other than that they didn't use it and it was a lot smaller than it probably needed to be for both of them to actually use it so that was my fault but this bed they are in love with. They go in there all day long, off and on, they'll take turns. I'm trying to get them to sleep in there together because that would make my dog mom heart just melt into a million tiny pieces. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think eventually they make it to that point. I just love this bed. I think it looks so much nicer than the big dark kennel that we had. This is the medium size. It's like 41 inches this way, 27 inches this way, and 36 inches from top the bottom. This piece of fleece I just like shoved in here. It's held up by being under this bar and then it just goes behind this bar and then I just sort of just shoved it into that bar. And I put that in there to make one side just a little bit darker so like in the evening if we have like a light on 
It makes a nice little shadow and so I wanted them to still feel cozy. So you can see the backing so that the wall is not showing behind it. And yeah, this, this, I mean, this bed is so great. Edie loved it from the moment she set foot on it. I could steam out the, uh, oh, good girl, what a nice model. <laughs> I could steam out the wrinkles, but it's not that serious. Edie, how do you feel about this bed? You love it? Mm hmm Two paws up? She really does love it. She spends so much time in here, and <laughs> she, they both do really... It's so stinking cute. Like your little cabin, huh? I do love that it looks like an A-frame cabin, like in the Scandinavian woods. <laughs> this little box is from Ikea. It's actually a cat litter box, but it works perfectly for their toys so they can reach in there and grab them whenever they want. Someone may have chewed on this. Could that possibly have been you? Say no mom, I'm a perfect angel. I would never do that. As you can see, it is very, very cozy. And to be honest, I cannot wait to decorate it for Christmas. <laughs> I'm thinking we can put a little tree right next to it. I have two little target trees that I think would be so cute. And I'm kind of loving this sneak plant over here, which also strategically hides my ugly plug. So there you go. I just wanted to share this with you guys because we are so stinking happy with it. And it's so beautiful. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'm at 87 and I'm trying to get to 100 and it seems like it's never gonna happen, but I'm just trying to be patient, but it would be super cool to get to 100. So if you would care to subscribe to see more dog things, dog mom stuff. I'm also planning some crafts. Um, I would love to plan another Disney trip. And other than that, we just do some lifestyle things, week vlogs, that sort of stuff. So I hope you guys will join us and we will see you next time. Say bye. <laughs>